Good morning, Earth Angels. So today I have, um, I'm going to read something to you that I channeled that I feel is going to help you. And I hope it does. Um, okay, here we go. You are source in a human holographic body. You are not your body. You are not your mind. You are infinitely passing through this time and space simply for the experience. Therefore, everything that is created in this holographic reality is not good or bad. It simply appears in the hologram to create the experience you signed up for. Now, this experience is being crafted, created, programmed based on your beliefs, your thoughts, your current vibration. And something that I'm going to add is what you say, right? But of course, what you say are your thoughts and your beliefs. But be careful what you say, too. That is why it's important to stay in a high vibration because you are reaching the other three programs that the, the three programs, which is the three programs I said, believe thoughts and vibration at the highest vibration possible. So the next thing, the next steps would be to manage your thoughts. That's the most, one of the most important. It's better to be in the now moment. So when you're in the now moment, you're not thinking and you're not creating a reality that you don't want. So if you're thinking and you want to think and you want to be in your mind, then I suggest you think good thoughts. Okay, so always have the intention of having positive thoughts. Maybe having a nighttime recording that drills this into your subconscious would be quite helpful. On your way to always having positive thoughts, if you catch yourself having a negative thought, say three positive thoughts. All right, beliefs. Try to notice a pattern in your life. If you find yourself saying these things, people are difficult. People don't understand me. I'm the black sheep of the family. I can't afford that. This car or job or computer or whatever sucks. When you are spell casting these words, you're going to create that reality. So manage and try to understand what, what your words mean and your subconscious patterns, especially when you're talking to other people. That's when you really know what pops up that you're like, wait, I didn't know I believed that. So just be really mindful of the feedback that this holographic reality is giving you because it is providing feedback every second of the day. All right. So I'm going to give you an example. You keep going out or are married to men that abuse you mentally, physically, or emotionally. So who in your childhood does this remind you of? Or is it a self-worth issue? When you were being treated badly as a child, so you believe that's the way you should be treated. Think of your childhood or in utero when you're in your mother's womb. What comes to mind? And don't forget that these are all lessons we agreed to. So we could grow from them to possibly teach ourselves that we are worth it. Or that we are worthy. That we must love ourselves unconditionally no matter what. That we must have compassion for others. That we must love others unconditionally for they are us since we projected them into our reality. They're just a feedback loop to let you know what your beliefs are. Number four, life contracts, lessons we want to learn. So, you know about life contracts, right? Those are the agreements that we make that in this lifetime, I want to learn this, this, and this. We, Marie and I, did a deep dive on life contracts. 
So please look for that video because it has a lot of information in it. I'm also called to remind you to pay attention to what you give your energy to because what you give your energy to will be pulled into your reality. So if you're watching videos about the EBS going off and um, all this other, other ideas that are being thrown out there on how things should happen, you're giving it your energy. So it's possible that happens in your, in your reality. This is why you have to be careful about what you listen to, especially videos that are describing future realities or videos that are explaining the latest, the latest jabby jabber death tolls or what's in them. I myself just realized this and stopped giving me my energy to it. The idea that a lot of people are going to die. I mean, they are in my reality because I believe that. And now I'm starting to believe that no, though we'll be safe somehow, some way, something will happen that everybody will be saved. So if I live thinking I am in 5D, none of this exists there. So I no longer need to watch those videos. There's always an option and people tell me, oh, I watch it and I'm neutral. Okay, go for it. But I know I have tried doing that and I myself cannot make it work. Somehow, some way it seeps into my subconscious. So just in case that happens, I just don't listen to it. I'm not taking any chances for my reality. It's my reality and I create what I want. I am no longer allowing others to create the reality for me. So all of this takes us one step closer to being who we really are, which is source, right? This is the experience of knowing that we're going from human to understanding and knowing that we are source. So I hope this resonates with you. If it does, pass it on to someone else you think it might help. If it doesn't, then delete. And you don't have to agree with the things that I say. I put them out there because they have helped me get to where I am, which is the place of pure joy, happiness, freedom, and peace. And that's all I want for you guys. So everything that I put out there is to get you to where I have been able to get to. Because I think I've arrived to the, in that place of pure contentment, surrender, happiness, and trust. And that's what I want for you. I love you guys.